We're out in the high tunnel again. I did a video the other day of an update in here. And I showed you our corn, and one of the comments I got from my friend Micah McGee is that I should probably go ahead and do some weeding in here that I might be sorry if I don't. So I've got me a few little helpers. You see one over here, and you see one right here, and there's another one over here behind the camera. You wanna come over here and say hi? <laughs> there he is. And another one's gonna be out here in a minute. Uh, she was brushing her hair. But uh, I got a few helpers, and we're gonna try to do some weeding. And I'm gonna give them a couple of instructions and we're just gonna let them do it. They might mess up a little bit, but that's okay. That's how you learn. And that's a good lesson for you as well uh, because uh, the best thing you can do is just get out there and try, make some mistakes, and I hope that we can inspire you to do that because we have made lots of mistakes and we've learned a whole lot from some of these mistakes and we want you to learn some of the same things. Learn from some of our errors so you don't have to make them, but make some of the errors because you learn a whole lot from those errors that you make. We're gonna get to it. So we've got some done. I hand weeded around these peppers up here. And I didn't do a perfect job. There's still a lot of that left, uh, but you can see it's uh, looking a little bit better. Do you see? There's still a lot of weeds around these tomatoes right here. So I still got a bit more to do. I haven't done any weeding at all in the last couple of weeks. I'm gonna try to make a habit of getting the kids out here to do a bit more of it because uh, they need to learn. I have been kind of concerned in the past about them doing it because sometimes they're not very discerning about the plants that uh, you know that are there that I don't want them to destroy versus the uh, the weeds. I don't want them to destroy the plants, uh, but if uh, they do, then that's how you learn, right? And I've encouraged you to get out there and make some mistakes, uh, so I'm letting them do the same thing. She's got what looks like a watermelon. Bring it up closer if you want them to see it. That kind of looks like a watermelon leaf. She did this, so I'm going to let her plant it over here. Uh, you, see, you see about the distance between these cucumbers over here? Put it uh, right there at the end. Sweet, swivel baby watermelon. We're going to do something else. I sent all the seeds that I had. I sent them up to the pond, and I also sent my trays up there, so I might go up there and get some trays. And I think I want to plant some more cabbages uh, because that's something that uh, we you know, can eat a lot of, and they store for a while. So we're going to go do that. We will definitely bring you along with that, so stay tuned. <music> All right, so the other thing that we're gonna do today is start some plants. We started some lettuce out in the high tunnel, Rue and I did, but uh, it didn't do very well. Most all of it didn't germinate, and the ones that did germinate, it didn't do very well because it's so warm in there. However, I'm gonna try this time to start some in advance. So uh, this may or may not work. We are just experimenting. We will give you an update later. That other lettuce that we did did not work. This Grand Rapids tip burn resistant. Uh, and uh, it says it's a cool weather vegetable, but it's been really warm in there and it still really is warm in there. It says so directly in the garden, but I'm gonna try this time uh, to plant it in advance. So it says to direct sow, which is what we did out there. 
We didn't direct sell whenever it was cool weather. It was been, it's been warm in there. Uh, so I'm gonna try this time to sow it in advance. I think these trays are from Bootstrap Farmer. Uh, I've had them for a little while. They are starting to degrade a little bit. Uh, I really like doing this. Uh, and I've showed you this in the past, uh, numbering the cells like this. So this row is row one and two, and I'm marking in my phone what it is that I've put there. And I'm just gonna do uh, several varieties of uh, lettuce and kale, and then Swiss chard. So do you have any carrots? We've got some carrots over there. We're gonna try direct sowing them in the high tunnels. Most of the time you don't sow carrots uh, in advance. You sow them directly, because they're a root crop. Uh, I'm gonna do it in this order uh, first, and I'm gonna put a couple seeds in every one. Uh, first, this uh, Grand Rapids. That's gonna be in cells one and two. Then I'm going to try this iceberg lettuce. I think this came from the dollar store. Then I'm going to try this burpee lettuce. The kids picked this up at a seed swap. Then I'm going to try this tennis ball lettuce. These seeds are kind of old, packed for 2018. Then I'm going to try this, uh, uh, this blue scotch kale. It's kind of old as well. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And then I'm going to try this Swiss chard. I tried that this earlier this year. I tried direct sowing it. It didn't work out very well for me, but we're going to try it again. Eventually, I'm going to get these things where it works out really well. What you have to do for your garden is to decide what you are going to eat. Grow what you're going to eat. I might grow this stuff this year, and if I hate it, if we hate it, we're not going to grow it anymore. If it's something that's very productive, uh, that's easy to grow, we might go ahead and grow it just as kind of a, a preparedness food. Uh, but I'm going to try all of these, and we'll let you know at the end of the season if it works out, and also if we like it or not. And that'll decide if we do these uh, in the future as well. So let me get this going. Let's plant some seeds. Okay, so I uh, got all that first tray done. Lettuces, Swiss chard, kale. So I've got a whole tray at 72 plants. I'm gonna try to keep track of it better this time. I'm not gonna put this in the high tunnel because lettuce don't even wanna germinate in high temperatures. Just make sure it stays good in water. I'm gonna do the same thing with this tray. I don't have it numbered. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna uh, put one of these popsicle sticks over here for this to be in row one. So this is row one, and I'll know to go from this direction. I've got a bunch of cabbages over here. Uh, I've got uh, some mammoth red rock cabbage, and I've got some that a, uh, uh, a viewer sent me. Milk cabbage or MHK cabbage, I'm not sure. Kohlrabi, red acre cabbage, green cabbage, Chinese cabbage. It might be mixed cabbage instead of milk cabbage. I don't know what it is. Uh, Y'all probably can't see that very well. Uh, I might just leave it outside uh, like the other, but I might put it in the high tunnel. Let me know down below what you think if I should put it in the high tunnel or if I should just leave it outside because... Toby, stop! Toby, no! Kids came in, everybody, all the kids were gone, and Toby, our schnauzer, was gone. But anyway, uh, let me know down below what you think I should do. I'm just gonna do these and then I will put it somewhere. If you like things like this, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks. Mm -hmm.